Hello everyone. Listen. Don't let it shake you. You will vomit. Okay? Don't let it scare you when you do vomit. And by the way, I'm Ishmael and your priest, if you don't know my name. And I welcome you to today's video. What am I talking about today? Listen. I like saying that never limit how God answers you. Because this is where the enemy, Satan, makes people to be doubtful. Because you, you pray and then he gives you an idea on how an answer should come. And if it doesn't come like that, you drop all your, you increase all your doubts. You become faithless and then you ruin it all. Peter was walking on water, but the moment he became doubtful, he started sinking. You will be walking in faith, and that faith will help you to walk steady, and you will receive, and the impossible shall happen. But the moment you begin to doubt, in the midst of your walk on the water, you're going to begin to sink. That is how he gets you. Nobody can tell how the Lord delivers. I remember years ago, when my pastor prayed for me, I'm, norm I'm normally not someone who, you know, that thing of, I don't know what you call it in English, when you blood drip from your nose out of the blue. Maybe some is when it is too hot, you might suddenly, blood comes up like, yeah, in my language it's called ntongol, you know. I don't know in English what it's called. That thing of someone just, or maybe sometimes you can be beaten up and then, yeah, I hardly drip. I, even in my life, I can count the number of times where blood came out. And it could be big because maybe I've hurt myself in the night. Like, But I don't have that thing, to put it simple. But I remember one time I was prayed over. And that very night, in the middle of the night, blood came out of, from my nose. And I was so shocked. But then, to me, I never looked at it negatively. I was like, this could be an indication of deliverance. I've been delivered. You see how faith works. To me, I began to believe in my heart that something came out. It's a sign that something was removed. Some, I do like saying, they just have a running tummy. Some, they are able to even go to the toilet and find things. Some, they are able to vomit and you see things. You get what I'm saying? Some, I've, someone was even sharing with me how they were vomiting. And something, a dead thing, a living thing, but it was dead, came out. That's when they realized things were just, how did this thing enter me? It's big. It's impossible. People see things. If you're not experiencing these things, it does not mean they don't exist. Sometimes you get sick, but just because you're ignorant, those things, they enjoy ruining you because you don't believe. You don't want to believe so that you can get help. You are refusing to. It's almost like when they say, denying that you need help will only make it worse. Admit I have a problem and I need help. That is why some of the things will come out, you will vomit them out. Don't be scared when you vomit. Don't be scared when you have you, they come through when you go to the toilet. Don't be scared when something happens, but as long as God is in control, is it delivering you, is what matters the most. And in Jesus' name, Everything that has been deposited inside of you, I decree and I declare, you are vomiting it all out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And of course, you can book an appointment with me. My details are on the comment section below. See you next time.